where do you actually start? A good place to start is just thinking about which tasks can be eliminated. Firstly, look at your business critically and just go, what, are there any items that you're doing in your business that you probably shouldn't be doing? Just <laughs> stop doing those. Um, then ask yourself what tasks could be done by someone else just as well. Now, they might even do it better. You'll often find uh, once you train someone up, maybe not out of the gate as soon as they start work with you, they might not do it as well as you. In fact, there's a very good chance that they won't. Uh, but that makes sense. I mean, it probably took you some time to um, learn to do something and get it up to a particular standard. And I think that's where some people go wrong. Sometimes having these unrealistic expectations when someone starts expecting them to be able to do absolutely everything and do it just as well as you. But we can train them up over time. And that's one of the benefits of working with people in emerging economies. Um, it's sometimes, especially if you're a smaller business, it's hard to justify the cost of training your staff up. I mean, if you put them through a training program uh, here in Australia, you know, and you're spending $40 an hour and they're just sitting watching DVDs, I mean, that's, that's a pretty tough pill to swallow sometimes. But if you've got someone in an emerging economy where you might be paying them, you know, $5 an hour, um, you don't mind if they do a couple of hours training each day. In fact, it, it's actually quite a good thing to do because you, you train them up and then that uh, gets them to understand the task and the processes better, which then enables you to not necessarily have, have to give as detailed instructions. So uh, thinking about what tasks can be done some, by someone else uh, that, that they might even do a little bit better is, is a good place to start thinking especially tasks that aren't your core critical work that you're delivering on. Um, what tasks are most time consuming? If you haven't logged where your time is going during the day, that's worth doing. Like keep a little diary for a couple of weeks and just watch where your time actually goes. Uh, and, and once you identify the most time consuming tasks, they can be good ones to plug in. Uh, what are most stressful? That's another thing. And then the final one that I've got is those most important tasks. Now obviously the most important, the whole aim of the game, and you can see that progression there, is to get some of the other tasks off your plate so you're able to focus on the most important tasks or the tasks that bring in the money. Uh, and then over time we can plug someone in to, to, to do those most important tasks, but it kind of, it's a little bit of a progression.